Do you know what cold is? No, what real, bone-tearing, freezing cold is, when your whole being trembles and writhes, trying to keep in at least a tiny bit of warmth, when you slowly start to lose feeling in all of your limbs and your eyes become two frozen ice crystals, when your body naively attempts to save itself by raising the tiniest hairs, trying to create an insulating coat to preserve a tiny bit of heat and draw out the slow agony. When it starts to seem like the blood in your veins has turned to ice, and red, sharp, chafing little crystals are being pumped straight to your heart, your body starts to convulse, your muscles are reduced to spasms. That is the end. You've spent all your energy on your spasming muscles. Your body can't give your brain everything it needs. Your thoughts become muddled. You start to hallucinate. You're freezing, and you know for sure that it's over. There will be nothing else. You'll never laugh and have good times with your friends like you used to, enjoy life without a care, spend your time on interesting work, take care of your children, love your wife. There will be nothing. Nothing good, nothing bad. At this point, you'd be ready to take the bad, the worst life you could imagine, if only you could remain among the living. None of it will be there anymore. You know it. It'll all be gone, because you're dying. You're dying horrifically and torturously. You're freezing to death. You're cold on the outside. You're cold on the inside. You are the cold. It's like you're becoming a silent block of ice with a heart, beating weakly and very slowly, burning and longing for warmth. You know that you want to live, live, feel. But it's too late. Your oxygen-deprived brain sends muddled hallucinations to your fevered mind. You feel some kind of force taking hold of you, as if you're a little grain of sand, and dragging you swiftly to who knows where. After a few moments, you suddenly feel like you're in a web of cold light. Ice everywhere. Ice and cold. They surround you from every side and nourish you with their powerful energy. It doesn't scare you at all. After everything you've been through, you're not afraid of ice. You're intimately familiar with it. You have understood with your very being what piercing cold is, a strange voice calls out to you. From now on... You shall be the heir of the Morozov bloodline. You must be worthy. You see a bright flash in your mind's eye, and you plummet into non-existence. <laughs>